Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a screenshot in Final Cut Pro. Now after watching this, you too can become a screenshot ace. Now I'm gonna share with you how to take a screenshot or freeze frame using shortcuts in Final Cut Pro and Mac OS. And then we're gonna take a look at how to export a still image in Final Cut Pro. Let's check that out. So here in Final Cut Pro, we're gonna take a look at taking screenshots. There's a couple different ways we can do that. First way I'm gonna show you is with the freeze frame tool. So we're gonna come up here, let's select our spot. We're gonna maybe stop it right here. Go to edit, find freeze frame, right here, add freeze frame. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna take this frame and just create a snapshot of it and just leave it there in the timeline. What we can do with that is we can then adjust it, change it, Let's say we were focusing on something, uh, we could e uh, zoom in on it. Like we could do something like this, come up here to the inspector. So we can go to scale, we could zoom this in a little bit, maybe add a, a keyframe that, uh, we add this keyframe here. We could just create something interesting out of it. Yeah, so it gives you a lot of options from there to take this one freeze frame and change it up a bit. So the other thing we can do is go to the library, find, open the browser here. Let's say we wanna add a, another clip of a city in there, but we just wanna freeze frame. So you wanna make sure it's selected, and then we're gonna hit option F, which is the shortcut for add a freeze frame. And what that is now done is it has added the clip and it's connected it to the primary storyline. And so this one, we now, again, you can edit or adjust it as, as, as much as you like, but it is simply a freeze frame of that frame from that clip that's here in the browser. All right, and you can adjust that, customize that however you like. Now, when these freeze frames first get added, they are added at their default length, which is four seconds. So if you know that every time that you put in a freeze frame, you really only want it there for one second, and you're just gonna be changing it every time, you can save precious minutes by coming up here to Final Cut Pro, go down to Preferences, and under Edit, and under Editing, we're gonna find the still image. We can change this down to one second. Come back out here, find that freeze frame again. Option F. And you see, it has been saved in here as a one-second clip. So the next way you can take a screenshot in Final Cut Pro is using the share menu. There's a couple different ways to get there. We can go up to file, share, and add a destination. Or up here, we've got this shortcut. And you'll notice there's nothing that says like uh, screenshot or anything like that. So what we wanna do is we wanna go into add destination. And here we go, save current frame. So we can double click this. We now have an option to save current frame. Let's go ahead and call it a um, freeze frame. All right, so in here you'll notice you have a couple options of what type of file you want to export it as. I typically choose JPEG, but you have other options in there as well. So now we can select the spot in the timeline where we want the screenshot to be taken. So we'll stop here at this frame. Now when we go up to file, you'll see under share that we do have the freeze frame option available for us. Do we can uh, click there or we can go here to the shortcut on the side and freeze frame. So just like normal sharing, you can rename the file. You can also check and see, okay, it's gonna be a JPEG file when it's finished. Here's the dimensions. We can come up here to settings and we can even change some of these. If there happens to be any captions, there's, there will be the option to burn the captions in, all that sort of thing. So you can click on next, you can go and save it to the documents and let me track that down. All right, and sure enough, there it is. Freeze. Too frozen. <laughs> While you're here, I want you to know that we share new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. All right, so the next thing we're gonna look at is in the Retime Editor, there's an option called Hold. And that's right here. The shortcut for that is Shift H. So just like, so in this menu, you'll see, you know, you can slow down time, speed up time, reverse a clip, do all sorts of different things with it. But with this option, this is like the pause button. So you turn on that hold here, and what happens is in that moment, time is stopped, essentially. 
and then comes back and speeds up again. So around this spot where time in your clip is stopped, you can speed up and slow down, even do like a, a sort of a speed ramp up into this part of the clip. Uh, but it's just another option that's there. Maybe you don't wanna freeze frame and have that clip now be separate. This allows this to be uh, contained within the entire clip. Or you can specifically click on this section here and it will highlight with the range tool only that part of the clip. So you can make some changes specifically there as well. All right, now we're gonna look at Mac OS screen capture. So there's a couple different things we can do with this. We're gonna check out some shortcuts. First one is Shift Command 3. What that does, that just takes a picture of the entire screen. By default, it does save to the desktop here. So we can see it says screenshot taken at this date, at this time. The other option is Shift Command 4. And what that does is gives you this little option here with this little crosshairs. And you can see it gives you the, um, the pixels on the screen where, right where you're at. You can select a specific area. So I'll take a screenshot of that. So you can do a lot with that. As you can see, it, it maintains the ratio of each of those. The other thing you can do is very similar to that one. Shift Command 4 with a space bar will actually highlight specific windows. So you can actually take a, a picture of the menu bar up top. You can take a picture of all of Final Cut or the desktop itself. So that's another type of screenshot you can take. The other option is Shift Command 5. And what that's gonna do is open up this menu box here, which gives you all these options that were in these shortcuts and, and even more. So you can capture the entire screen, capture selected windows, capture selected portions. And then in addition to that, you can record the entire screen or record selected portions. And then you got some options where you want that to save. Maybe you want a timer before it snaps the photo and you can show a floating thumbnail afterwards, show the mouse pointer or not. You have all those options for you. And then when you're ready, you just click capture and it executes that command. So we took a look at screenshots and how we can take that using Mac OS shortcuts and apps, as well as the built-in tools and features in Final Cut Pro. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. I don't know about you, but those shortcuts changed the game for me. Now that you've learned how to take a screenshot in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to create an intro in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.